Hey guys, Mr. Elena Malozzi, Aaron, Freddy, Fredericks, and yes, I must be so busy now. I'm back again for another ball review. And today I thought I'd try two balls from the same manufacturer and see what the actual difference is. So we're actually doing the V3, TaylorMade, sorry, V3 Distance and the V3 Soft. Um, and then I thought I'd see which ball did the best and then I'd compare it to the Wilson in another video. So I was doing a bit of research as you try and do being a good YouTuber. So my hack is falling down. I've shaved my head too. I know, I'm balding. It's getting, I'm too old. <laughs> anyway, I've, I've mourned over my hair. Uh, let's carry on. So I am no word of a lie. I've looked, I found that the cores are around 70. So for both of the three, in fact, for all the V3 range, the core is about a 70. Now, what's really interesting, now I kid you, no word of a lie, I am reading exactly off the box. So just have a little look here. Okay, so I've got the box. They're the two different balls, right? No word of a lie, I'm reading. So the distance is max velocity, soft feel, pinpoint control. Okay, good, that's the distance. The soft, max velocity, soft feel, pinpoint control. Yes, we have heard that before. Let's turn over, okay. Three balls, that's just the, you know, the core. Okay, we're onto this page. Well, this page, this side of the sleeve. Okay, read it. The core, this is what the core says. Low compression react core for maximum distance with soft feel. That's the distance. Let's read the soft one, shall we? Low compression react core for a maximum distance with soft feel. What now? Okay, let's go on the next one. Maybe, you know, maybe the core's the same, but they change it. Maybe they've changed the mantle. Mantle, speed mantle technology for iron distance and control. That's the soft. Let's try the distance. Speed mantle technology for iron distance and control. Okay, two out of three, exact same ball. Compression, exact same ball. I'll just take my hat off. Cover. Okay, so you're thinking maybe they've done something different with the cover. Iron and cover for soft feel and commanding short game performance. And what, let me guess, on the soft, iron and cover for soft feel and commanding short game performance. What the heck Taylor made? Even though they've got, you can see, distance, soft, everything on the cover, which really should be what explains just the differences between the balls, is exactly the same. Are they telling me that the V3 distance and the V3 soft are different, or are they exactly the same? Apparently, either someone forgot to change the actual uh, words on the covers, or they are the same ball! Anyway, we're going to test it. Let's see what we find out. Okay, I've written on the balls. It's my face here. Going soft first, then distance, which I physically had to write. Bad slice. Soft again. Oh, that was a distance. All right. Did they feel different? What do you reckon, Taylor made? Not really. I'm gonna hit another one though, just in case. <laughs> All right, up at the balls. And yes, an absolute shock for you. I did hit the softs, I tend to, I don't know why, I sliced both the softs. And one rolled in the rough just below me here. It pulled up short, I know, shocker. So I got them two, uh, 206 is what I got. Two of the, where are they? I don't know if you are. Somewhere up there anyway, yeah, just up. <laughs> Wherever they're up there. Uh, 206, I got the distance, and technically the soft was 191, but it was in the rough, so would it have made the same distance as the others? Yes, it would have. So an absolute shocker that the ball with the same compression, same mantle, same core, went the same distance. Absolute. I'm actually angry at TaylorMade right now, but let's see if the same balls spin any different. Anyway, about 78 out. 
how will the exact same ball behave spinning? Oh, I wonder. Yes, that is sarcasm. <laughs> Distance first. Back. Came out pretty well. Go and have a look. You wouldn't believe it. You would not believe this. Does the same ball with the same mantle, the same core, the same cover, the same compression spin the same? Yes, it does. Amazing. Anyway, both sort of. Not the greatest checkups, but somewhere about a metre, one each did, and it's about two metres, so just a standard -y kind of ball. Gonna have a putt, see what they sound like. I guess I can have a guess of what it's gonna sound like, but anyway, I don't wanna be Mr. Naysayer, judgmental, angry, or tailor made for ripping us off, but let's just have a look anyway. Here we go for a putt. You can see the little uh, marks I put, just so I could tell which they were. Um, soft, soft, distance, distance. All right, now the test is done. And what have we found out? Amazingly, the V3 distance, the V3 soft, are the exact same ball. Now, what I'm not angry about is actually a reasonable ball, okay? So when I test it against my Wilson Triad, which I really like, I think it's gonna be okay. But what actually really ticks me off is tailor-made, because this ball is reasonably priced, about $2.50 a ball. So reasonable price, I, we can all agree on that. That's not an expensive ball. $30 for a box of 12, that's a good price. What annoys me is tailor-made thinking, so you, because who's this ball going to be sold to? Well, it's not going to be sold to the professionals. It's not going to be people who sold to who know exactly what they want. It's going to be sold to people who are sort of starting out, think they know what they want, trying to get that little bit better, and then tailor-made are trying to rip us off by tell us, oh, here's a soft version or here's a distance version. If you're someone who needs a bit more distance, use this ball. If you're someone who wants a bit more spin on the greens, use this ball. But what actually they've done is put the exact same ball in the exact same sleeve, except they've typed distance in one and soft on the other. And I know I'm normally quite fun and have a laugh, but I think that is just rude to the point of rude, rude, rude. Taylor made you should be ashamed of yourself because that is not what you should do to golfers. You should treat them with some respect. And if it's a softer ball, name it soft. If it's a harder ball for distance, name it distance. But don't do the same ball didn't even do a different stamp on the ball. That's how rude it is. And then put it in basically the same sleeve. Anyway, I uh, <laughs> oh, rant over. Taylor made, you should be ashamed. Send me an apology, MrRelatableOz at gmail.com because we are embarrassed by the ball. And honestly, we should just call it the V3 range. And then I wouldn't even have an issue. The V3 range, that's totally fine, which I assume is to take over from the rocket balls and those sort of level of balls. But don't call it the V3 distance and the V3 soft. That is just rude and mocks our intelligence. Okay, had a rant. Anyway, I will teach the V... <laughs> I will do a review with a T3 ball against the Wilson um, to give it a fair thing. I won't call it soft the distance because that's an absolute pile of dog doo-doo. Anyway, they do have a urethane version of that ball too, the V3. Same compression, same core, just a urethane cover, which will make a bit of difference to spin, but... Uh, Anyway, I'm going to do that later on when I've calmed down, which may be a week or two. <laughs> this has been Mr. Relatable Oz, Aaron Freddy Fredericks. Sorry that I got very ranty. I think TaylorMade have just done a really rude thing and I don't appreciate it. So just to call out to all you TaylorMade people, I'm really not even thinking about playing TaylorMade balls anymore because I'm so angry about it. But when I calm down, we'll do a review on it. But you guys have a great week. Mr. Relatable Oz, Aaron Freddy Fredericks. I will speak to you again. Cheers.